What's up guys, this is Johnny from the shop. Today we're going to be taking a look at my automated toolbox. Um, it's basically just a little toolbox topper with a uh, linear actuator motor. Kind of works like a garage door. Um, taking a look at how I built it and how you can make one too. So um, it runs off of a linear actuator motor I salvaged from an automated couch set we had. We're getting rid of it and it just didn't feel right to throw away all those motors. So um, this works with a switch over here on the wall. It goes all the way up and all the way down. So it's actually very, very simple to make. So let's uh, get in tighter and I'll show you how it works. Okay, for the sake of filming, I pulled all the tools out of it so we can see what's going on, and I put my little light in there to kind of light it up. Um, just got one of the single linear actuator motors. It's actually hanging out of the back, um, the, the whole motor assembly, and that's just pretty much the follower and the track that's inside. And I just mounted that to a single 2x4 in the front, and it's actually mounted to a frame system in the back that hangs out the back of the cabinet. Um, along with all the wires, and that just basically, you can see, we will go a little bit, just a, the follower pushing the door down and pulling it back up. Try to get an interesting shot of it moving while it's actually in there. Okay guys, so you can see the motor and most of the works actually sticks out the back. I just pretty much set this to where the length of the stroke would get the door to close and open completely, at, you know, as best as it could. And uh, it hangs out and just is mounted to a little 2x4 bracket that's secured to the workbench and to the wall. And you've got a wire that feeds the power coming from this junction box. And the junction box has a wire that comes off comes around to the remote that I mounted to the wall and another wire that comes up to a uh, big 24 volt DC power supply with a bunch of big old filter caps so it's definitely got plenty of power okay so I've got the powertrain one of the extra linear actuators uh, laid out here so you guys can kinda get a feel for what actually makes that thing work so you've got a motor here that drives a screw in this lineup, and this plastic follower is uh, threaded with a little nut into that screw. You've got your power supply here, DC power supply. Just basically takes the uh, 115 from the wall and rectifies it and filters it to uh, 24 volts DC. Sends that power into your junction box here. It's controlled by this little remote with an LED. And it's got a decently long stroke. It's, you know, the full length of this track, which is... Track is 16 inches, so it's got a 16 inch stroke. Um, like I said, it's 24 volts. It's a 24 volt DC motor. It's really, really strong. Um, it's designed to make the reclining mechanism on an electric couch go up and down. So it's it's not hurting for power. Um, maybe I'll set a jig up and see exactly how much it can lift in another video, and just test it with some funny stuff like maybe some you know, weights or whatever and, and see if we can't burn one out because I actually only have two power supplies but I've got three motors so I've got one of these motors to burn so we can beat on it real hard and see where it fails or how it fails um, I don't know where it'll fail first I mean the, the screw is looks to be at least some sort of uh, Chinese metal I don't know I don't know I guess it's Taiwan uh, 
Taiwan King Progress Enterprise Company Limited. So <clears throat> that's who makes this. Um, like I said, I pulled this off of a Lazy Boy branded um, electric reclining couch. And actually, the couch and a love seat. So there was four total. I've got all the motors. I just only got three power supplies. I don't know what the hell happened to the other power supply. But um, yeah, as you can see, it works pretty well. So I hope you enjoyed this little look at my uh, automated cabinet I built with these fun little motors. Uh, like I said, if uh, I get any kind of feedback from this video, any ideas for a future application for these things, or even if uh, somebody has an idea of what we can hook up to it to see if it'll burn it out, I mean, I think that'd be kind of fun. Um, but either way, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. And if you want to see more like this, please subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time, guys.